Welcome, welcome. It's um, Bella here. It is Wednesday, the 23rd of May, and we're here to do um, a follow up on our initiate journey to meet the next archetype from the major Kana in line to be the Emperor. And the Emperor obviously is a very huge personality of power and authority and intellect and leadership and he has a lot of responsibility and also as the empress is his um, lady of choice in his life to bring the lineage to um, further his kingdom. But we are going to follow up with the emperor today to see how the initiate feels about his encounter. Now to just step back, we know that the initiate met the magician and the magician would have pretty much to say, stay away from uh, the uh, evil devil. And then he came upon the um, high priestess who had to share her wisdom of have hope via the temperance, um, excuse me, via the star card, and um, patience via the temperance card. So hope and patience and faith um, for this uh, journey of trust he has to have to find the truth of what his life purpose is and the value of his core. Okay, now for the emperor, I chose to work with my Robin Wood deck. Now this deck is real, very old, I've had a long time, and actually there's, since I'm only working with the Major Arcana cards, um, we were going to just follow up with, um, uh, I have two decks here, so I'm going to say, so I'm going to use both of my Robin Wood decks, so there's going to be 44 cards, I'm going to pick two cards for the pairing, and then we'll see what the Emperor says. Now again, reminder, the Emperor is a ruled by Aries, the Ram, so, you know, strong figure, strength, virility, he has to keep the alliances going with other kingdoms, but what I'm trying to bring forth before we take these two cards to represent the Emperor's wisdom for the initiate is that um, I want to make sure that this little storyline is the fact that this is a metaphysical emperor. He is aware that he has to work with the goddess energy. He is aware that he needs to tap the fey realm and, and the earth, and he's un he understands the laws of mystery. And that's why he works with the allies, his allies, his magicians, his high priestesses, because he's aware that he has to learn, he can't know everything, but he has to learn from, from wisdom, it takes time, that's what makes him the emperor. So, and I kind of, kind of, not title this emperor King Richard, but kind of along that theme. King Richard knew he had to work with the realm as a higher, you know, power to gain his power here on earth. Okay. And the first card we're going to select today is the world card. That is lovely. That is the universe card, the world card. And that, that says everything pretty much. That's like what we're trying to follow. This is the last card of the major kind of 21. We start with the full zero and that's where we're trying to lead up to, to this fabulous world that we find our lessons. Hopefully we learn our lessons and, and, and take everything for value. Don't, don't, don't be little people, don't be little things. Uh, you know, it's just important to follow up and um, with the wisdom of what, what we're trying to accomplish here on our journey. So important, but this is a few, this is about everything. He's, he's kind of, I guess, giving it in a scope here real quick. It's about getting to the end here, to, to master your own domain, your own world. Okay, well, I guess he's uh, got a lot of knowledge for the initiate, but let's follow and final 
card here for the pairing this evening. And the Emperor's words are the wisdom of the chariot. Fabulous. The chariot. Now this is number seven. Okay. And the chariot is about um, triumph and victory and, and, and going for going for what you you know you have to do. You know in your core there's something within you and this is what we are on this quest as initiates to find out what is our core and take it to the to the next realm. And you can see there's there's um, two horses here. I think they're unicorns rather. Um, but they one's you know has one's in white, one's in black to show that there's always a a balance to things. There's two choices, two way to see things and one might take you this way and one might take you the other way. But but you harness the energy. This is what we talk about when we have, you know, dragon energy or unicorn energy, it's you can harness it. And why we have to learn to harness even our inside of uh, our good times and our bad things, our bad qualities. You know, we have to balance. We keep talking about balance. So I believe that the emperor has some good wisdom for the initiate so far to get to that world of peace that we're looking forward to, the, the universe of utopia. We have to balance and, and keep ourselves in check with our good side and our not so good side. All right, my dears. Well, I think the emperor has words of wisdom and I'm looking forward to the next personality to come through will be the Hierophant, number five. And he is, uh, you could say, more connected to the uh, a man of wisdom, church-oriented, pope figure, things like that. But also uh, has uh, magic, too. Okay? Have a wonderful evening, my dude. We'll talk to you soon. Ciao.